Last night we slept on the beach and it was so nice falling asleep to the sound of the waves as they rolled in. It was a warm morning so naturally I woke up early and headed down to the shore to feel the cool air. I've noticed that the beach in the mornings is unlike any other time of day. Often the wind is low making the water look extra glassy. It has this feeling of peace that allows my stresses and worries to drift away. Something I really need at the moment. We've just come out of some of the hardest days on the road. Although we've come out the other side of it, I still feel like I'm working through the chaos. Good morning. We slept on the beach last night, which to be honest, it always scares me because I always have this fear in my head in the middle of the night that the tide's gonna come in and hit us. But high tide last night was 9.15 p.m. So we just made sure to stay awake until then. And the next high tide is in about an hour, so it's coming up now. It's pretty wild just how much the tide changes here though. At high tide, it comes basically all the way to where the combi is, up to the bank. And when it's low tide, you can walk for about a kilometer before you hit the ocean. Zena's soaking up all the sunshine. Are you waiting to play your game? <laughs> this is her favorite game ever. Ready? Fresh bag of beans. Oh, yum. I don't think I've shared it on here yet, but Jordi and I created our own blend of coffee beans. It's been a project in the works for about a year and a half and we launched it a few months ago. We're shipping Australia wide at the moment, but if you'd like to try them out, I'll leave a link in the description below. So we wanted to come spend one more full day here at gunpoint because we absolutely love this spot. We have a really long drive coming up because we're driving all the way down to Melbourne, which is insane. So we thought it would be nice to come out, spend a few nights here at the beach and just fully relax and do all the things that we enjoy doing. So today is going to be just that. There's not much wind around, which is nice, but that also makes it really hot. It's a very sticky day. Hello, Zena. You wanna hop up? Hello. You're all sandy. How good is that first sip of coffee? There's nothing like it. In a few days, we're gonna be driving 3,800 kilometers all the way back the route we came a few months ago. We're gonna be driving through the red center, so it's going to be lots of long driving days, lots of desert landscapes, and I think it's gonna be a tough one on us. The wet season is definitely coming here in the top end. Every day I can feel the temperature rising and getting more and more humid. There's been clouds around the last couple days which we haven't seen the whole time we've been here as well. It's time for swim number one. The water is so shallow because as I mentioned, the tide changes so much. 
So this is just a massive sandbank and it's really warm in here too. I don't think crocodiles were from here. Then it's taking yourself back to the van. Oh, watch out. Ah! everywhere. I don't believe in heaven. The wind just picked up like crazy. How am I gonna get through this? Brother, lend me light when they hand me darkness. Tell us something good, doctor, please. I've been making lots of these salad bowls lately. It just seems like the perfect food for this hot climate. I'm hiding away from the elements. The wind came in in full force and the sun feels so strong at the moment. How's it going, Sloth? <laughs> it's great. Could you give me a push, actually? Now we're talking. It is nearly 2 p.m. and just kind of feels like the day is slipping away. But it's very hot. It's in the late 30s, I think. So we've kind of just been drinking lots of water and trying to keep cool. Lately, I've sort of had this strong urge to do something more creative. I do photography and videography a lot. But I've always enjoyed drawing and painting and doing other creative things as well. But I found with being on the road, I don't really give myself the time anymore to do those things. So while we were broken down and I was hanging out in the bus a lot, I decided to go to the art shop and buy some acrylic paints. I got this pastel kit. I probably should have got the one that had more colors and smaller tubes, but I'm gonna work with what I have. I did one painting so far, which, I mean, it's not finished, but it didn't turn out amazing. I haven't done much acrylic painting, so I'm really in the learning phases, but it's just really fun. I've always found it funny when people say, I'm not a creative person, so I can't paint, or I can't draw, or I can't do photography. But really, I think we all have creativity within us, but not everyone allows themselves to use it. I find it can be so hard to switch off and allow myself to be free to do nothing without feeling guilty. Something I'm trying to learn is that rest is just as important as being productive is. When I step away from my screens and have days like these, that's when all of my best ideas flow. drove 40 minutes into town to grab some ice and some more drinking water and on the way back we both started burning up and we didn't put sunscreen on today which was probably not very smart it also probably wasn't very smart to wear this bikini top today because now I have the worst tan lines ever crispy uh. <laughs> 
It hurts. <laughs> now I think we'll set up the hammock. We're gonna treat ourselves and make some drinks. Go for a swim if the tide comes in. And Sunset. that's about it. Pretty cruisy day. Thank you. Cheers. Oh man, that's so good. It's like a fancy juice. And finally, it's my favorite time of day. The sun just set and it's starting to get a bit cooler now. Not going to lie, I do find it a little bit tough to spend 24 seven out in nature. Today was extremely hot and windy. And as you probably know, the sun in Australia is very strong. So the days out here can get a lot. I do find it tough because our van is not the biggest van you can travel in. It doesn't really make sense to travel in a vintage Volkswagen. We just love Stella's vibe and can't imagine doing it any other way for the time being, which is why we usually do try to stick to climates that are more tolerable for us and that we can enjoy being outdoors most of the day. But on the contrary, being out in nature all the time is why I love being on the road so much. We get to experience the most magical sunrises and sunsets and we're in a location that just looks amazing most of the time. We're not always camping in spots like this. A lot of the times it is car parks or side streets or caravan parks. But when we do find camps like this, it's just so magical to wake up, open the door and have a beach as our front yard. The horse flies have been so bad for the last couple of nights. We might have to hide in the van for a bit and I also really need a shower because I'm feeling extra sticky from the heat today. How's the hammock hangs? It's good, we're having good chats, babe. The stars are really nice too. And the little moon. <laughs> I'm blinding Jordan with this light right now. 